Hello, my name is Braylon Brooks, and I'm your host with Singster.tv, and we're rocking on the red carpet with Frank Gambale here. Uh, he's a, a part of the guitar department for Isina. So tell me, how does it feel to be a part of the guitar department? Like, I know you're known for like a really unique structure in the way you like sweep and pick the guitar. And, you know what I know? Well, I'm actually <laughs> head of the guitar department. Head of the guitar uh, department. Yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, and. <laughs> Uh, well, yes, I've been playing guitar all my life, and uh, I did create a style of picking, uh, a, a unique way of playing the guitar, which is not an easy feat. How did that develop? Well, it's, <laughs> it took a lot of time, <laughs> and uh, I was emulating other instruments rather than guitar. I was listening to other instruments, and now it's part of the guitar lexicon of techniques. It's an accepted technique that many, many guitar players around the world use, and they're not really sure always where it came from. <laughs> Do you think, is that what you will be emulating in this program to like uh, teach other students how to like, you know, unique technique? Well no, not necessarily. No. <laughs> not the secret? <laughs> that's, a, that's a small part of what I do, you know. Uh, I'm a musician first, a guitar player second, and um, you know, I'm looking for great talent out there and to help inspire them. I know a lot about music and, and producing. I've done 20 solo albums. I've done uh, some of the best-selling guitar instructional videos ever made. And, uh, and I'm an author of several books on guitar. And so I was the perfect choice for this, uh, for this role, I think. And I've toured all over the world with the greats like Chick Corea and, and my own groups. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. I love it. So solely for your department, of the guitar department, yeah. what message do you hope to get across for, uh, for other aspiring young guitarists out there? Uh, this, the whole point of this uh, Asina is to uh, give uh, aspiring and fantastic talent out there an opportunity to, to reach uh, over to the United States from, or from within the United States, wherever, wherever they are. And it's, it's a very unique opportunity. Uh, you know, most colleges are very expensive and, you know, this is a really incredible way to have a, an opportunity to get to be nurtured and, and mentored by uh, some of the best uh, people in the industry. And, you know, it's in the interest of music and it's, you know, keeping art alive, keeping kids on instruments, people into music. It, there's a, a lot behind this. It's not just, you know, uh, a, a star search kind of thing. To me, it's to help inspire kids, and hopefully, for my personal thing, is to get them off video games and back onto instruments. <laughs> I love that. So I have a question. My dad actually played the bass guitar, and uh, like I would always try to pick it up and like try to learn how to play and things sure. like that, but I could just never like get my fingers to like really, you know, handle the guitar. So what are like the three like key notes to like? tips, I'm sorry, to play like a, a guitar, like a guitar. guitar. Like what are the three tips you need to know to like to actually play an actual tune? Well, let me put it this Other way, than, like, you know, it's not, your <laughs> it's not an instant gratification thing. And you know, these days we've, we've gotten very much into instant gratification. The guitar is a beast to master and it takes a lot of time. Uh, I always, uh, you know, I would try to make some analogies with other industries. Like, if you go to university and you learn six years and, and you study really hard, you could be a lawyer, right? <laughs> In six years on the guitar, it might you might not get very far. You know, I started to to make sense of the instrument after about 15 years of hard work. Oh, wow. So it takes time, and it depends on how far you want to go. And if it, you know, if you really love it, if you really love it, you can start playing tunes in a couple of weeks. You know. But then where do you go from there? There's always more, you know, music is infinite and uh, there's so many styles and, you know, you gotta love it. Just like I overheard Kenny's interview too. You gotta love it, you gotta be passionate about it and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to inspire people to, uh, to come here and, and be mentored and have an opportunity. If they're, they're talented, we're, we wanna see them. I love it. Well, you heard it from the one only Frank Gambale that just happened here at Capitol Records. Thanks for watching.